Story time. So today I'm going to answer a question I receive pretty regularly. I'm gonna answer it honestly and uh, as in depth as I possibly can. Um, so pretty regularly I'm asked, am I natural? Or are you natty, bro? Are you on steroids? Do you take juice? Uh, the answer's no, I don't. Um, I don't, I'm 175 pounds. Uh, I work out every day of my life um, and have for over 20 years. Um, what I have, I don't even think is that remarkable. I think if anybody did what I did, they could have it as well. But it's a huge compliment and I'll take it for sure. Um, so thank you, you know. I do wanna take this opportunity to talk a little bit about how I feel about PEDs and steroids and share with you also what supplements I take. Um, I do actually take supplements. I need help just like a lot of folks out there. So I'm gonna discuss those a little bit as well, but to take a step back, how do I feel about steroids? How do I feel about PEDs? Um, if I'm discussing this honestly, um, I don't think about them a lot. I don't know that I have a lot of feelings about them. Um, if you're an adult, I guess over the age of 21 or even 18, uh, what you do with your body is your decision, in my opinion. You know, um, I cannot dictate whether somebody should go and get a tattoo or whether or not they should engage in high risk behavior like black diamond skiing or whatever. You know, I, I can't dictate, you shouldn't drink orange juice. What they do with their body, as long as it's not endangering anybody else, is really their business. Again, in my opinion. However, if you were competing in a tested organization, um, whatever it may be, in any sport, if you're competing and you're taking PEDs, I think it's wrong. Um, you're agreeing to a level playing field um, and that's wrong. I don't think you should do it. I think that there are other organizations for that and every major sport, pretty much, um, there's other places you can compete, at least at an amateur level that are not drug tested. Um, so take advantage of those opportunities if you want to compete. Um, just stay away from the folks that are trying to do it naturally because you, you're going to have an advantage, okay? So with that, let me talk about my history and past. Um, again, the answer is no. I'm natural, right? But I need to be fair and I need to be objective and honest and tell you that I have... I have definitely experimented with a number of things. Several of them, or a couple of them at least, are, are definitely illegal now. Um, examples uh, of that would be like um, Andersteen, uh, when Mark McGuire was, Sammy Sosa were breaking the home run record. Uh, that was in the news. I was 15 years old. I was weightlifting for two years. I couldn't wait to get my hands on some Andersteen. I did, I took it for like a year, a year of that pro hormone. And then it became illegal and it was gone. So I can't say that I haven't benefited from these sort of things. Uh, Super Draw was another supplement I bought at GNC in college. I took for a couple months and then subsequently became illegal. So I'm not pearly white. Um, however, I don't actively engage in kind of testosterone or TRT therapy at this point. Uh, again, no judgment though, if, if you do, and if you need that. Um, pause here, and I wanna take a moment to share what I actually do take every day to supplement my workouts, my lifestyle, and more importantly, my recovery. Um, as many of you know, I have been recovering from a very severe neck injury. I've had five back surgeries, including two spinal fusions already. Um, and the regular dings that you, you accumulate over a lifestyle. So I need a lot of help, you know? Um, also contributing to all that is I, I have a terrible appetite. I'm not a big eater. So I'm often, I'm often never hungry. So with that, uh, I have to take supplements to kind of help me reach my, my protein intake to recover and get the, the appropriate amount of branched chain amino acids to recover in these things. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, what I take, why I take it. So obviously, first and foremost, Rain Energy Drink, I am sponsored and work with them. It's part of my life. I have one, maybe two rains a day. Um, I have a long day, I have a full-time job. I have two full-time jobs. I'm a daddy, I'm a husband, I'm a busy guy. Um, so rain is definitely pretty crucial to my daily lifestyle. Uh, with that, um, seven energy, protein. As I mentioned, I'm not a big eater. I have to get the protein in, both pre, post-workout for recovery purposes, and also just to, I skip meals. So it's pretty important I supplement my day with them. Uh, again, there's a CBD combination in with seven energy, so it's so great for inflammation. Again, working with these injuries, I've actually found it super helpful, so love it. Um, Viva Zen. Viva Zen's crucial, guys. If you haven't tried it, I really encourage you to try it. 
very potent painkiller. And when I mean potent, um, this is my personal testimony, okay, for whatever that's worth. It's as strong as almost any painkiller out there, narcotic painkiller. It's extremely potent. It is completely natural. It is herbal. The pharmaceutical companies don't want you to know about this. I assure you. If you try it, you will know what I'm talking about. Now look, it's herbal. It's a little tart. I'm not gonna say that the taste is an acquired taste, uh, but the benefits far outweigh that. You can take a shot of almost anything. Um, I encourage everybody to try that. I do it every day post-workout um, or sometimes before bed to kind of help with sleep. Um, so with that, before bed, I take MK677. You can take any brand of this. This is a SARM. Um, it is called a growth hormone secretagogue. What does that mean, right? This is a vitamin that you take before bed and essentially it helps your pituitary gland in your brain release more natural growth hormone. What are the benefits of that? Uh, fat loss, better sleep, improve insulin sensitivity, and overall body recovery. So I'll take it before bed. It does help me sleep a little bit. It helps me fall asleep for sure. Um, and it just helps your body recover, uh, helps with your skin, your hair growth, the benefits of HGH are huge. And this is something that your body is going to naturally secrete. You're not giving yourself a foreign exogenous source. This is just encouraging your body to release a little more. So uh, MK677. And then last but not least, Sal Palmetto. Why do I take Sal Palmetto? I'm 37, I'm getting old. I need to take care of my prostate health. I wanna have more babies maybe. Um, I wanna be healthy. I wanna live for a long, long time. Um, so I like to monitor that. I noticed a couple months ago, I was getting up a lot in the middle of the night to go pee. And I just started reading about it and I read that Sal Palmetto would be a really good healthy alternative, a supplement you could take to help with some of the bladder, prostate issues. And I, I actually have seen an improvement. Um, it's sort of helped my skin too. So I don't know if there's some hormone balancing going on there, but literally that's what I take. That's what I take on a daily basis. That's all I take at this time. Um, no judgment, no morality call if somebody chooses to do something different with, with their bodies. Um, we're, you know, no judgment here. Uh, but hopefully that answers the question. Again, please leave uh, comments, questions, and, and feel free to engage if, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover. And thank you for watching.